from deli meat to frozen waffles and even McDonald's quarter pounders, we're hearing about food contamination and recalls more often. So how concerned should we be at the grocery store and eating out? Dr. Scott Roberts is a Yale Medicine Infectious Disease Physician. Thank you so much for being here. You know, we have these two things going on, both listeria and E. coli outbreaks. I think a lot of people have heard about these types of things, but don't really fully understand. A McDonald's I want to get to right away, dealing with the deadly E. coli outbreak linked to its quarter pounders. Uh, we do want to say no cases so far in California, but why are these outbreaks happening more often and what should people know about them? It certainly seems more frequent nowadays. I think food is more processed now and consumers want it ready to eat. So there's a lot more steps in the process where contamination can occur. The other thing is we're testing more and we have better testing mechanisms. So it's possible this is leading to some of the increased detection as well. You know, I think it's interesting. Last night, my stepson asked me, well, what is E. coli? And my husband and I both started talking about thinking it was in the beef. Then I read an article this morning that it could have been the onions that were contaminated. Uh, it's something that you might not think about. I think with the listeria outbreak, too, um, you think of deli meats and those types of things. But then yesterday, you have the waffle recall. Um, can you talk about where these are being found and the symptoms of contamination um, and what people should do if they think they're infected? Yeah, you know, these are all bacteria that really love to contaminate food. Uh, they travel very frequently in the soil, in uh, food workers' hands. They contaminate equipment. And so I think we're, what we're seeing now are just several examples of these really high-profile out outbreaks. Um, the big concern for me with this E. coli outbreak linked to McDonald's, the Quarter Pounders, is they're still not really sure what is the contaminated source. You know, they suspect it's this slivered onion it's potentially this quarter pounder meat. And then some other questions too, is who's supplying these onions and where else have those onions gone? So I think we probably are at the very beginning of this outbreak and we really don't have a good sense of how many people this has actually reached. Um, symptoms for really both Listeria and E. coli can include uh, gastrointestinal symptoms such as stomach cramps, diarrhea, dehydration. Uh, most people do well, but for really both of these diseases, the concern that I have is the at the extremes of age, so very young and very mm. old, and then those who are immunocompromised, and especially for listeria pregnant women. And this is one of the main reasons why we recommend pregnant women don't ingest deli meats or soft cheeses because of this listeria potential contamination. Oh, that's a really good point. Um, I think the, the person who passed away from the E. coli outbreak was an elderly person, so uh, good to point out the ages there too. Can you talk a little bit about though, I was, I was fascinated in reading how hard it is uh, when these, uh, to determine it's an outbreak and, and where the outbreak is, is originated from. Yeah, it's really challenging. And a lot of times you have to look at who's being infected uh, once we get alerted to enough patients who are presenting with the same thing and then track down where they ate and what foods they ate. And these are very complex. You know, I just checked the CDC website uh, for the recall of these frozen waffles. And there's many, many types of frozen waffles that this manufacturer produces oh. that reach Walmart, Target, Stop and Shop, and many other stores really all over the United States. And so it's really hard to follow, even for me, you know, as an infectious diseases physician. So really what I advise people, if you are concerned, is to double check the CDC website and the FDA websites, which have up-to-date information on products that have been recalled, and then just check your fridge, you know, see if you have any of these products. And if you do, I would not take a chance. I would really throw it out right away. Um, and if you have ingested it, what I, again, most people do really well, but if you are vulnerable, certainly keep an eye on your symptoms. And if anything develops out of the ordinary, like fever, muscles ache, muscle aches, gastrointestinal symptoms, talk to your doctor right away. All right, all really great information. Dr. Roberts, thank you for joining us this morning. In a statement, McDonald's said serving customers safely is their top priority and that they are taking swift and decisive action. The company believes the outbreak may be linked to onions at a single supplier. They added they're removing the quarter pounder from several impacted state menus.